Okay, so <clears throat> I just did like a 25 minute tour of like three minutes worth of actual content painting. Not exactly, but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of book chat because I haven't done that in a while. So I read All American Girl from Meg Cabot and I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. And then that was interesting because <clears throat> you're feeling a little wet. You drinking out of the big girl cup? Yeah. You know what? Uh, I'm going to take a minute and wipe off some camera here. So Lillian has decided she's going to come and, and join me. She's eating ice out of a big girl cup, which pretty much means I can just count down until the time it's being, it's going to be spilled on me. So anyway, back to book chat. I finished, um, all American girl. That was interesting. Uh, what it was like to save the president from a teenage perspective and what Gwen Stefani would do. And then the second book, which I was like, wonder what this will be about. It's called ready or not. And it was totally about her dating the president's son. And, um, unexpectedly it was about getting laid. Uh, it was handled very well. I thought, of course I'm <clears throat> not dealing with losing my virginity. <laughs> so anyway, um, I know now you want to play, don't you? So I thought that was a very good book and I feel safe to say that that would be totally appropriate to share with a teenager. I'm not, I'm not having, let's not have a discussion about anyone's personal beliefs or anything like that. It's just a book recommendation. Okay, guys, let's not freak out. Um, but next I'm going to read The Princess Diaries when she gets married. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. <clears throat> then after that, I got the Megan Kelly book, Settle for More. And I got a book called Lara, L-A-R-A. -A. And it is about the true life story of the guy that wrote Dr. Shivago. And it is based upon the love story that, or it tells about the love story that inspired his writing that story. I feel like I have... Okay, honey, good job. It's totally real life here. So anyway, um, I feel like I accidentally stumbled upon something like really cool in the Overdrive library. It's not like a bestseller or a new book. Uh, but I feel like that sounded like something really interesting and worthwhile. So after that, I don't know what I'm going to read, but that's probably a couple of days. <laughs> that's a few days worth of reading. So, um, that's just my little quick book chat that I wanted to give you an update on. Um, I still have that Joan Rivers, uh, last girl before the freeway. I think I got something else and in, in my, my pile of checked out books. So I suppose I should Okay, so I did some checking. So the order of stuff that I have in order to return, I have Royal Wedding, which is the uh, Princess Diaries. Then I have, um, good gravy, I've already forgotten. You're like the, the baby distraction fairy. I have Lara, the Dr. Shivago one. I have Megan, uh, hey! Settle for more. Then I have the um, darkest hour, which is <laughs> the um, <laughs> next book in the Mediator series from Meg Cabot. Last girl before the freeway, which is a Joan Rivers book. And then last but whoa 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 whoa, this is my glasses. Last but not least, I have Empty Mansions, which is on my big hot list of books to read. And if you watch the channel, be prepared. I'm going to, I'm going to let a cuss word out. Get your shit together. That is the name of her channel. Get your shit together. That was, no, 
no, you can't have the you can't have the, the camera. That was on her list of um like 25 books to read this year and it was on my list too and I was like, "You know what? I need to actually get on the list for that darn book so that I can read it." Oh, there it was. Nice. It got me. It caught me finally. <laughs> so, anyway, that that is I had like way more books than I thought. I got like six checked out or something. So, anyway, that, I promise, is the end of my book chat.
take you upstairs and show you what I've done. It's like super dark here, even though the light is on. So, recognize these. These are my KonMari bags. I still got one and a half, so that's all right. I didn't KonMari at all today. So, can you see the difference? Probably not up here. Like you can see where it was was painted, and over here it's not perfect. It's just just the first coat because you can see like down here. But it's like so much better. Hi, everyone's wearing clothes right now. This is painted right here. And this over here is painted. This wall above the door. All of this. This does need a second coat. I also did this part here and I came up and over. Woo! The upside down filming land. <laughs> so I did most of well I did all of this like I say part here and I did a bunch of the the overhead you can see over here where it's not painted and then I did paint this here I feel like it just like it's like the difference between putting a regular natural face and putting foundation on it just, it's not so much that it looks different. It's still a white wall, but man, oh man, it is just as even as the day is long. So we're going to go around. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep. The bed's still in the middle of the room. And then I did this wall here and I did this wall up to the window. And you can still see, like I say, down here at the bottom. Look at that. That's my finger. I didn't paint my nails. I mean, I guess in a manner of speaking, I did paint my nails, but I did not. No. But you can see, like, the edging, the trim is not finished on that, and that's fine. And yes, I did paint on my trim, and that's okay, because that trim is not going to be staying that color. So, and I started to go up here, but then I noticed, hey, look, I didn't sand all that spackle up there. And the reason I didn't sand the spackle is because the bed is now directly under that, and, um... That just seems dumb. Yep, and I totally uh, cleaned off all that KonMari stuff there just to put all that stuff right back on. <laughs> so, I just feel like, wow, that just looks so much better. Oh, I am so excited. Are you going to paint? Are you helping? So, anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of what it looked like afterwards. So, everything that you see that is this blue color is going to be painted probably a... a a brown yes this is built in by the way this is totally built in and for some reason this color looks so much better on camera <laughs> than it does in real life it looks super trendy uh, it's not exactly the trendy color but it's kind of that but I cannot leave this this color I just can't do it so uh, in case you want to know the color on the walls and that is a shadow it is not two-tone there but the color on the walls is called Antique White with, from Bear. <clears throat> and then typically we do the uh, trim in either Natural Bark or Frontier Brown, depending on if we want a dark brown or a light brown. But you can look that up on the Home Depot's website because those are all proprietary colors from Bear, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, that is my update. I'm hoping that... Oh wow, I can totally see, and I can see, you can see it on the camera too. You can see where I painted, how it's like shinier than down here where I didn't paint. Wow, that's totally a crazy difference. So, oh, anyway, I just wanted to share with you that was my work. I only got to do about two hours because my mom actually watched the kids. Chris was at work. This was her day off. Yeah, see, I can totally see the difference here, like where that is not something I did <laughs> uh, yeah we're gonna deal with that too but anyway <clears throat> you can see where it hasn't been painted and like the difference in in the because this corner has been painted it, I did anyway I'm talking a lot I'm excited that I got to paint finally so I'm going to be doing the 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 arch and potentially some of that, I still have to sand some of that, that 
darn it, I meant to put some paint on that. Oh, darn. Anyway, darn it. There's like three things I meant to do because I can reach some of that with the sander if my mom holds the ladder, but I don't trust myself to lean and not have something like solid hold me. So, all right. So that's a lot of yammering, but I'm just super excited that I made some progress. Yay!